So I'm sure this topic has come on this channel over and over again. Jackpa, jackpa, jackpa. Welcome to another edition of Common Sense with Freddie with Coach Wilfred Asoko. How are you guys doing? It's so good to be here. My name is Coach Wilfred Asoko. I am a capacity builder. So today, I want to talk to you guys about planning and seeking the knowledge of the location you are moving to. You want to jackpa? You need to know where you are going to. You need to plan. And I'll tell you why. If you're just joining this channel for the very first time, please join the community by smashing on the red subscribe button. And please turn on your notification button so that Whenever we upload, you can be able to join us and then learn from us. As a tech consultant or as a tech professional, if you want to transition to the tech space, especially the non-coding, non-programming um, courses or career, please use the link below this video and reach out to us. You can join any of our courses, any of our classes, and you will be fine. And you, I can tell you, you will have so much to learn from us. All right. So. As a coach, I have dealt with so many individuals from different parts of the world who relocated and made wrong choices. As a result, it is always in my place to share with you guys, especially those of you that are, in, you know, you're planning to relocate, you're planning to jackpa, you're planning to also take a stride to see if you can find a better life, better living in another country. Yes, it's normal, it's good. But you see, planning is key. Those of you that are religiously inclined, there is a saying that, show me a man who wants to build a tower and does not sit down to plan. If you're relocating, listen, you need to plan. The planning has to be very strategic. From where you are going to land, who you are going to be staying with, who will receive you, now, when you're talking about planning, I don't mean those ones, those of you that are taking a very high risk to go through the desert or go through the daring gap to come to the US. I don't mean those ones who, those ones, your planning is out of this world. Because first and foremost, I don't know the kind of mind and the kind of heart that you have. It is very, very brave of you if you are making such plans. I don't mean those ones. I mean those ones that are relocating normally, take their flight, fly into the country and start a life. Okay? Those are the ones that I'm referring to. I will talk about those ones that go through the desert or the Darien Gap or the Guatemala area to come to the US. We can talk about those ones sometime. But for today, I'm talking about those that are coming either as a student or you are coming with your work visa, or you're coming as relative to family members. Those are the ones that I'm referring to in this conversation. Who are you talking to? Who is giving you all the guidance? That is the most important thing. I say this all the time. While you are planning, who are you talking to? Because you need the knowledge of that location you're going to. So why you are looking out for all the resources that will enable you to settle into that country, you also need to understand who will be able to give you that honest guidance to settle in. Most importantly, I am pointing you to the most important aspect of your life, which is career. There is this narrative that as soon as you get into the country, any job you find you want to do, listen, that's a means to an end. I'd like you to also plan on the kind of job that you would like to come into these countries to take on. If you don't plan on those kind of jobs, you are going to land yourself with the menial jobs that will not allow you to head anywhere. You're going to land yourself in those jobs that you are going to work night and day. As a result, you wouldn't have time for your children. You wouldn't have time for yourself. And the family that you left home in Africa or back in your home country that you wanted to take care of, 
you will barely have enough to reach out to them, let alone take care of yourself in that country comfortably. That's where the capacity building comes in. And for capacity building, it's more of a self-care. You need to look at capacity building as self-care. Capacity building will enable you to grow yourself both in knowledge and also in your finances because that will allow you to take care of yourself and also take care of your extended family, which is one of your greatest desire and priorities. So this planning has to be robust. This planning will give you the needed knowledge that you need to be able to strive. This planning that I am talking to you about will allow you to understand the do's and the don'ts of that location you are going to. Because you don't want to get into that country and you begin to break the law. Ignorance of the law, remember, is not an excuse. Because when you break the law, definitely the law will catch up with you. So it is expedient that you are not just planning on how to go start a menial job, also plan on how to obey the laws of that land. I have several mentees, I have several clients. Within their first 90 days entering into the country, they're already breaking the law. They are dealing with either the court system or the police or the immigration. They're already breaking the law. You were not well informed about our country. I remember when I was coming to this country, one of my mentors called me and said, Wilfred, you're going to the US. I will advise you, be careful with women, elders, and children. It was a strict conversation. It was very candid and very honest conversation from a mentor whom I looked up to very seriously. As I pass this message to you today, I need you to take to heart, especially those of you that are already planning on how to leave. And if you are just coming into these countries, I need you to talk to people who are honest with you, who would give you proper guidance. And if you are in the US, if you are in the UK, if you are in, here in Canada, and you need anyone to speak to, you can reach out to Z Worldwide. And definitely we have coaches that will talk to you. So I have coaches that are in those countries who would give you guidance, proper guidance on options and things that you can do to better help you situate. Once again, I want to thank you so very much for always giving me the opportunity to share most of these live nuggets with you. I remain your humble self coach Wilfred Asukwa. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded. <laughs>